Doing okay out there today. Just wanted to check in with you and see how everybody was doing. Uh, wanted to give a quick recap of my recent trip. Took a trip from uh, San Antonio to Gulfport, Mississippi on the Gold Wing last week. It was about a 630 mile trip one way, uh, which is pretty good for this time of year in the middle of December. Days are a lot shorter. So what I did was I left San Antonio like around 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, rode through Houston. Uh, tried to avoid the rush hour traffic, but I still got a, a little bit of it. Uh, made it to Louisiana. Uh, stopped for lunch for like an hour. Uh, had a good Mexican uh, lunch at some restaurant uh, in Lake Charles. It was actually pretty good. Uh, continued on through Baton Rouge always a traffic jam in Baton Rouge and uh, finally made it to uh, Gulfport after dark and it was probably like around seven o'clock or so uh, the weather was great uh, on the way out to Gulfport I think it was like around you know 70, 75 so wasn't bad at all I stayed in Gulfport um, for about four days I did manage to go down to uh, New Orleans for a day to visit my brother but yeah great visit uh, so my daughter and my granddaughter in Gulfport Mississippi they were there visiting um, their mother and uh, yeah so I stayed until Sunday morning I left uh, while it was still dark uh, probably like around 4 35 o'clock in the morning um, it was quite chilly it's like high 40s, uh, low 50s, uh, the heated grips did well, heated seat was awesome, and um, I'm glad I had this backrest, this OEM backrest installed, but yeah, I mean it was very windy, but the bike handled the wind uh, pretty good, uh, very chilly, but uh, decent wind protection, and also got caught in the rain as I got closer to uh, San Antonio. But all in all, it was, a, it was a decent trip on the Gold Wing. On the way out to uh, Gulfport, Mississippi, I had some issues with my Android Auto. Not the bike's fault. Uh, I either had a problem with my cable or the connection on my phone was a little dusty. So I wound up uh, going to Walmart while I was in Gulfport, found some isopropyl alcohol, some cotton swabs, and I cleaned it and I didn't have any issues uh, coming back so uh, that worked out quite well gotta have my Android Auto got all my apps, my music apps and uh, XM Radio and all that so gotta have that and also my uh, Google Maps uh, that comes in handy but the only complaint I had with the uh, Gold Wing is uh, my knees were aching after a while on the way out there uh, to go up port and on the way back uh, so I'm going to have to buy some highway pegs uh, for the bike I understand Gold Strike makes some good highway pegs so I may have to do a little bit of research to see if that's what I really want uh, that brand but uh, I'm thinking about buying some Gold Strike uh, highway pegs stretch out my legs a little bit more I got relatively long legs so uh, Definitely don't want to be cramped up for hours on hours on end. But other than that, the Gold Wing handled like a dream. Um, I had a trip earlier this year, but I took the Super Tenere on that trip. But uh, I am very impressed with the Gold Wing. I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is what the bike is built for, you know, touring. And it uh, did quite well. On the luggage side, I had plenty of space on the bike for everything I needed to bring. Uh, on my right um, bag, I had my tools, tire change kit, uh, pair of shoes, and uh, some rain gear. In my trunk, I had my um, bike cover, my backpack with my laptop, all my electronic gear, uh, cables and wires, and uh, you know a few extra things as well. And on on the other bag, I had on my clothing my jacket and pants liners and that all fit pretty good so but 
if you are traveling or planning on a trip traveling to up, um, space may be at a premium on this uh, 2018, the 2019 and 2020 uh, Honda Goldwing uh, DCT Tour. Um, not sure about the 2021s. I understand that the uh, luggage capacity on their bike is uh, improved over the previous years, but uh, if you have a 2018 and you plan on going two up on a long trip, you may want to purchase or look at purchasing one of those pull behind uh, motorcycle trailers. I always thought they were kind of silly to have a trailer, um, you know, pulling a trailer behind a motorcycle, but hey, it makes, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense uh, to me now. But uh, yeah, great trip. And I'm looking forward to uh, more trips in the future on this bike. I've got, you know, a few planned uh, in the spring, but I'll just keep that to myself for now until we get a little closer. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great Christmas holiday with your friends and family and stay safe out there. And I will talk to you later. Peace. I'm out.